Okay, the, the other thing that I want to address about the chorus is um, this beautiful chesty resonance that um, Adele actually brings to the chorus of this song. So what I mean by that is that she's basically using um, her chest voice to sing to sing it out, you know, and, and what that means is that it's it's the, the part of her voice that is closest to her speaking voice and it's also the part of her voice where the vocal cords come completely together and when she sings they vibe, the whole vocal cords are vibrating together to make a very thick sound. Um, and it's and it's very ringy. It's very strong and solid. Yeah, so it's not So instead of singing never mind I'll find that's can't that's not so chesty in resonance. She goes never mind I'll find so hopefully you heard the difference there So the other way of, of singing it would be never mind I'll find so it's it's nowhere near as strong there's there's not as much chesty resonance you don't sort of hear a lot of the bassy sound that gives it its depth but it's, it's kind of very trebly and a bit head voicey um yeah which is the part of the voice where um not our whole vocal cords come together to vibrate but only the edges of it so that's why the sound's a bit thinner okay so i want to talk about how she actually gets this chest resonance happening um what I'd uh, like to do is give you an exercise to practice um, to sort of just to help bring this about if, if you're not used to this. Um, so what we're going to do is um, before we did a, um, a slide on a... Uh, yeah, we did that kind of a slide. Now we're going to do is a slide as well, but we're going to do it on an M. Uh, mm. And um, what I'd like you to actually imagine in your head is your favourite food, um, and be thinking, okay, this whatever it is is you know whatever whether it's a, a bowl of steaming hot chicken soup or you know spaghetti bolognese or Japanese sushi. I don't know whatever it is is that is your favourite food. Imagine that right now in your head, and then sort of go. Mm, mm, you know, as if, whoa, yummy, you know, mm, mm. and uh, when you do that, notice what happens inside your mouth. Do you feel any sensations? Are you feeling any sort of buzzing quality? So if you can just try that again, mm, mm. and as you go, mm, mm, pretend like you've got this food already in your mouth and kind of chew on it. Mm, 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 mm. Now, once you sort of get this feeling, of a lot of buzz in your mouth and, and, and this really beautiful warmth kind of thing going on in your mouth, um, I want you to try the slide exercise. So we'll go. And, and I want you to be chewing on it as well because we don't want to purse our lips or get too tight um, because then that brings tension. So instead we want to be very relaxed, we want to create a lot of space inside the mouth. So I just want you to kind of chew on it, you know, imagining whatever it is that that, that favorite food of yours is in your mind and imagine you're chewing on it and really enjoying it and savoring the moment. of buzz inside your mouth on your lips um, that kind of thing mm -hmm. so can you hear how when I do that it's actually quite a chesty sound it's very solid very thick um, and so the idea in doing this is that it brings your vocal cords completely together and when your vocal cords are completely together as I said before you'll get a more chesty sound so once you've sort of practiced through that exercise a few times and you've really gotten the hang of that that chesty resonance feeling that mm -mm, Right, then you can actually begin to practice it with the song um, where instead of singing, instead of going straight to the words, you would mmm the, the chorus first. Right, so. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea is that you continue to keep that feeling of space and openness inside your mouth. You're kind of still chewing on every single note. Yeah, and 
you should be feeling a lot of buzz. Um, and then once you've, you've sort of done that a couple of times and you've been able to keep that solid feeling of the mm mm, then it's time to transfer that into the words, okay? So, and um, you know, you, you'd sort of start off with maybe singing the first time through all on mm mm mm's, and once you've got that feeling ingrained into your body, then you can go straight onto a second time where you just try and sing the words. Okay, so um, that, that's something that will take a bit of time to, to get if you're not used to singing um, with that same chesty resonance um, over that, that part of your range. So don't feel discouraged if you don't get it after the first time. It is something you will need to practice a lot if you're not used to it. Um, and it, it is a coupling with, with the breath as well. Um, you need to have a very good breath support in order to sustain this sort of a big chesty um, projected sound as well so keep all those things in mind as well and um, just persevere as you try and master each of these you know little well not little um, important things um, in order to get this uh, chesty resonance okay um, there's one more aspect that I'd like to discuss um, about the chorus of this song and I'll do that in the next video